Okay, Justin, I agree with you. It's easier to do a video <laughs> than it is to um, take a million shots. But um, yeah, let me just give you a bit of a look. Um, um, this was a, a car that has sort of come together with um, two donor cars. And um, uh, panels are actually not too bad on this. You know, obviously it'll touch up some bits. But, you know, it's funny. I went to see a premiere yesterday that every panel on it needs like um you know it's it's 25 grand and um it's every panel needs work on it and i sort of went okay um, and don't get me wrong i sort of thought well we've got better panels on this car than has on that prem to be fair um whether or not we um we go and you know sort of put these panels on his prem and you know fix these up because there's not much to do with these most of these are just a bit of a whip over the actual body of this car is really good but, you know, I, I don't think we're going to go for another project. Um, I think we'll just basically uh, be happy with the beautiful V8 one we've got, so, mate. But, anyway, so, um, now, this one's not so much for our radio guys, obviously. Um, uh, this is uh, a little bit car stuff, but that's all right. Um, needs new battery, no question. Uh, well, it needs a charge, actually. I don't know if it needs a new battery. It's been sitting around for a couple of years, so call it a new battery. <laughs> um I can jump a start this so it does start. Uh, Stromberg carburetor, 186 motor that sounds pretty good when it started. Uh, the um, disc brake front end feels uh, really good. The pressure on the brakes feels really good. Obviously it's manual so um, Australian 4 speed sitting behind there too. So the real thing. So um, I thought it might have been a sleeker 5 speed and I felt the the, um, the box and I went, oh hang on that's a 4 speed. And um, look I'm, I'm surmising it's an Australian 4 speed. It feels like it. It feels really much, very much like it. The only other possibility, Sleeker did do a four-speed as well. Uh, that's true. Either way, you know they're both very strong boxes. So, but yeah, so it's got the four-speed fitted, 186 there, ready to go. Um, needs just the clutch sorted out at the moment. Um, it um, is um, uh, not operational at the moment. What else we got? Okay, the prem interior. Um, now, if you went white with red interior, um, there you, you'd actually redo your front seats and then obviously you still redo these back seats but a lot of it could be sort of cleaned up and reused but still uh, but the back seats uh, need some work on the tops like they always do um, but um, yeah look often um, you know your choice of color is going to be pretty important but I always love the red interior with the and plus you've got all these uh, door cards these door cards are better than my door cards believe it or not um, uh, on my uh, on my good HR uh, mine aren't terrible but um, these are actually um, Mine's just got a little bit of water on the edges. Uh, you, you can't see it when it's all done, but when you're looking at the back of them, you can, and you sort of so you sort of go, right, eh? Um, but, yeah, so two prem seats, um, and as you can see, they've got the ashtrays and everything. No one's stolen those. That seems to be a popular thing with people stealing bloody ashtrays out of prem seats. I don't know. Um, obviously, these would have to be recovered and redone. You probably wouldn't want this colour anyway, so um, I think um, that would be wise. But the fact it's got the four-speed sitting in there, you've got... Um, your um, 186 which i think's in you know reasonable nick um when we started it sound fine well actually when we first started it sounded terrible we had a bit of rubbish in the carby i would definitely suggest pull the carby off and give it a good clean out um you know we've, we've got it running but um that's um with a bit of error start but um, um generally you'll find when the, this is sat around he actually died about two years ago so it's sat around for all that time um but yeah, look, let me get around it a bit and just try and show you some more of these panels. Because as I said, they're not terrible. You know, I, look, I've had a lot of HRs my lifetime. And I'm used to seeing big bulging bits of rust coming out of these bits here. You know, like right in this, this corner here. Normally you see loads of it. Um, and we've done the magnet test and they seem all right. Look at these doors. Once again, they're not terrible. Neither is that quarter, neither is that line, um, that rear door. Follow the roof line. Um, you know, this is all just surface rust sitting on it because it's been sitting outside a little bit. But um, apart from that, I think um, you rub it back and, and get stuck into it. Uh, the one I saw yesterday, it's had a previous uh, uh, windshield thing. It, like it was all damaged around here. Um, someone had put holes in it here for the um, indicator. They put indicators on the side. You know, just a lot of little patch ups where I would throw half the panels away on that Premier. Um, and as I said, you know, that's I think 24 and a half. Um, you know, sometimes if you're going to have to paint it, I don't see the point. Um, you, you might as well just go buy something like this for 10 grand and say, right, okay, you know, uh, get into it. Cause you really, you know, you're going to be taking it back to a shell to some, de you know, description to then turn it into what you want. But, um, anyway, but that's, yeah, basically it, um, in the boot, there's a few parts, but I'll take you, uh, I'll just show you, 
Um, I mean, obviously, um, just about everything that needs to go back together is sitting around in parts for this thing. Let me take you down to the other part where we've got um, some other bits uh, sitting around the place. Um, and, oh, by the way, two really good bumpers. Um, absolutely, um, you know, really nice bumpers. So, you know, that's uh, the other thing. Finding bumpers without dents in them everywhere. You know, that's... Uh, and once again, the one I looked at yesterday, i got to take the bumpers off this and put it on. So, you know, I'm going to spend $24,500, then I've got to paint it. So, you know, I've got to spend the paint cost, then I've got to put on, you know, my 10 grand worth of bits here. It's like, mm, yeah, that's becoming an expensive HR. Might as well just go buy someone's toy. And that's why I was saying, Justin, about um, starting at the other end of the scale. Um, no matter what, you're going to get problems. I don't, I don't care who's you buy. If it's sort of looking um, like this in any way, shape or form and the body needs work, then you know you just want to find the cleanest body with frames um that was the other thing too sorry uh floors and frames in this thing are really good and uh you know you can sort of see all through here that um because we're looking at the floors in here and they're just brilliant um you know they're actually this car and um just to give you an idea he paid um uh, this is just one of the donor cars that um that you'll be seeing parts from but um he paid um, 12 grand just for this here for this um uh, for this, what you're looking at, everything you've basically seen so far. Um, the, the only thing that was, I think, I think some panels came off the other car and onto here. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I reckon because he, he threw away a couple of doors that were just pointless. But um, all right, that just gives you a bit of an idea. I'll take you down to where some of the, uh, the other parts are and just show you what else. But there's a couple of boxes full of bits for the pull down. Um, I think I remember seeing there was a heater core in this one too. Another thing that you don't sort of find, yeah, 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 there is. There's the heater core in there. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, um, look, I will say the one that yesterday uh, did have an X2 dash. I've got to say that was sort of neat anyway. <laughs> All right, well, um, everything sh shuts as it should. It does what it does, um, you know, and, and that's the good news. It's not um, it's not alignment issues. Oh, sorry, um, we've also got the glass. I should mention this. Got the glass for this window here. Um, I've just been lazy, uh, haven't popped that in yet, but yeah, um, so my bubble wrap's doing a great job there. But um, yeah, so there's there's glass for that. So there's there's no glass to buy, basically all the glass is in good condition, there's no cracks or rubbish in that. Rubbers are pretty good too, actually, um, and a lot of the chrome trims and that, which, you know, look, get used to reusing all those sort of bits, so you can't find them for the love of money uh, otherwise. But um, they're in good condition, they're not dented or anything, and... Uh, yeah, really, really cool. All right, I'll go for a walk down the other end here. And uh, um, I want to go play with my own HR. I should be doing this one at the moment, but um, I've just actually bobcatted all this area. We've just been putting in a bit of a bit of roadway um, rubble here. So there you go. Country life. All right, hang on, we'll go down the other end. Okay, there's a box here, another box there, just around the corner here. Um, there's things like, you know, new ball joints, bits and pieces. Um, obviously, a lot of the pull down. There's a few double ups. Things like you'll say, well, why is there two disc brake? Um, you know, sort of uh, master cylinders, and, um, and that's because there's already one on the car, and one came off a donor car. Um, you're quite welcome to all that. Um, and basically, yeah, there's um, everything from gauges and all the bits and pieces go back in there. And um, oh, yeah, not X2A. <laughs> uh, there's another starter motor there, horn, etc., etc. Oh, there's another. What's that one? Another brake. Um, yeah, and, and all those, I'm using a wheelwood brake on my V8, so I don't really care that it can all go with it. Um, things that are hard to find, I mean, for the front bonnet um, rubber, you know, sort of um, the trim there, you've got to clean that one up, and then basically the rubber's good, so anyway, let's see what else. Okay, and there's box number two, and um, most of the bits are actually in the car. Um, like, things like you're getting spare, spare rear lights, so you've got lenses and bits and, you know, spare surrounds and um, windscreen wipers vents in the front if you want to do the chrome ones uh oh that's that gear kit yeah actually i'm not sure what's that for timing gear set uh, for 186 brand new but all that i don't want obviously i've got a 308 sitting in mine so i don't really use any of those um, uh, that looks like a choke cable <coughs> excuse me uh pieces bits to do your side bits there to, so those um panels there you just upholster those and put them on the sides and that would go with your, you know, your prem interior, etc. Uh, so yeah, all right. And I thought I'd just show you. Here's that bit of glass um, that um, is the um, 
uh, the one for the front door here. Um, I was looking for one for a mate of mine. Um, I really would have loved to have had another spare, to be honest, because um, he's been helping me so much with um, our other HR stuff. And he's got a thing with a broken, uh, the bottom section's broken on it. And um, I thought we might have had one, but no, we only had enough to do this car and the other one that we were selling off before, the V8 one project. But anyway, that's um, that's that. I might put that in the back of the car, actually. Just thinking class, and yeah, that back doesn't really make sense. Uh, so, hang about. Yeah, that could just go here on the seat for now. Turn that around. Oh, some linkages and bits in there, but uh, yeah, so hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea what it is, and uh, certainly uh, certainly a bit of a project, but I'll tell you what, um, you get to choose the colour, you get to choose the fact that it's pretty rust-free, uh, you get to choose, you know, at least what you're going to do with it as a base, um, and uh, you know, that's sort of half the fun, for you younger people anyway. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much um, for people that have got through this video that's got nothing to do with HRs and the radio side. You're bloody patient. Thank you. Um, we'll get a few more radios up um, this week. We've got um, quite a lot coming up. And uh, uh, unfortunately, I was in hospital last night. A long story. Um, just back today. So, uh, um, uh, yeah, anyway, more on that later. All right. Well, let's, um, let's just all love HRs and get on with our lives and enjoy them. Still reckon the disc brake front end is one of the big pluses. I hate drum brakes on HRs. That whole sensation of are you going to stop versus you know the drum uh, the disc brakes just yep they're the way to go. All right, all the best. Cheers, guys.